viewers today i am going to talk about understanding student engagement in books i am shanjay kanath i am presenting this paper with my impulse supervisor assistant professor dr arti yadav from central university of haryana and i am a research scholar from assam university so my first slide is basically uh, talks about the modern technology so modern technology advancement in education are causing a significant change in the teaching learning process so utilizing massive open online courses to satisfy the objectives of accessibility flexibility and quality education is one of the most recent developments in the world of education the teaching learning process has been completely revolutionized by moocs and the government of india is taking a serious interest in using ict to address its educational concerns so swayam which is based on study waves of active learning for young aspiring minds a significant initiative of the government of india is one such project so online courses are anticipated to follow the teaching learning process change from a teacher centric to a student centric focus so literature also highlights a number of advantages uh, of student engagement including higher academic performance retention rates student well being increased self efficacy and self esteem institutional reputation and transformative learning as well so the next slide is going to talk about student engagement so what actually student engagement is the engagement of student is very crucial part for switching from traditional mode of learning to online mode of learning so student engagement depicts the willingness to participate in different activities in learning which comes under their routine in traditional classroom like attending different classes of different subjects submitting the required work for different subjects and also following direction which has given by the teachers in the classroom situation so the engaged students not only do the task properly which is assigned to them but they also do it with the most diligent way and full enthusiasm and it is the important part of engagement in the field of education as well as for the others so moocs as a, a learning approach are gaining a very popularity and helping learners and instructors uh, understand how learning engagement is constructed in a mooc context is of increasing importance so this is because active engagement of uh, is often associated with higher mooc completion rates and better academic achievement also so the next slide is uh, going to talk about the needs and significance of my study so the first uh, one is facilitate switching to a alternative modes of learning which is related to face to face odl and online learning and hybrid modes of learning as well and the second one is the same online course wave is noticed in the sphere of teacher education so where various mooc platforms provided by the ministry of education are used for teacher training programs and standardized training programs as well and the third one is this research helps developers to understand the student engagement patterns such as behavioral social emotional and cognitive engagement of the learners so this slide is basically uh, talking about a particular model which is related to the behavioral engagement so this model uh, relies on empirical data analysis and delivers engagement feedback on a regular basis so this model defines several characteristics including sustainability initiative reflection and concentration which primarily characterize learning behavioral engagement uh, and learners periodical feedback and information sharing activities are all part of this approach so this uh, model is truly very important for uh, the behavioral engagement pattern 
the next slide is going to talk about the objective of my study so the objective of my study uh, is uh, to create a model of student engagement in MOOCs so the methodology of my study is basically uh, focusing on descriptive survey method which is uh, used in this uh, research uh, and learners of MOOCs from all over India who have successfully completed at least one course in any MOOC on various MOOC platforms make up the student's population and the stu study uses purposive sampling to collect data from MOOC students who fit in the criteria of the study. So the researcher devised a questionnaire titled student engagement in MOOCs for this research. So this the researcher has used the tool to measure student engagement which is another variable. So Deng et al 2020 created a tool to help student engagement in MOOCs. For full academic and research results they established the MOOC engagement scale which is based on MES when uh, survey respondents or participants are taking MOOC or have previously taken at least one MOOC in uh, the MES should be employed. So 12 questions were used to uh, find out the uh, op opinion of uh, the participant in uh, MOOCs. The MOOC engagement measure is a new instrument for assessing student behavioral, cognitive, emotional and social engagement in MOOCs. So in this study, the appropriate Cromberg alpha value for behavioral, cognitive, emotional and social engagement was 17.72, 0.70, 0.73 and 0.83 respectively. So, uh, the total value of the MOOC engagement scale uh, was uh, 0.83, indicating a high level of internal consistency. So, the tool covers all four quadrants of MOOCs and also includes academic engagement and social emotional engagement. So, the researcher employed Cronbach Alpha to establish the tool's reliability and the tool has a 0.928 reliability rating. So the next slide is basically uh, talking about the four uh, kind of engagements. So the first one is behavioral engagement, which is basically uh, related to participation in lecture or uh, watching by the students, time spent on the several lectures and submitting weekly assignments. And the next is cognitive engagement, which is mostly connected with the uh, psychological investment to the process of learning. And the next is various range of memorizing to use self-regulated strategies to promote students' understanding. And the third one is emotional engagement, which is related to several feelings of different emotion of students towards teachers, other peers, or various modes of learning. The next is inspired to expand knowledge and found interesting uh, things in online learning. And last one is enjoyment with the course. And the uh, last one is social engagement, so which is uh, connected with interaction between diverse students and their teachers. The next one is respond other on discussion forum. And the last one is regulatory maintain on discussion forum. So this slide is uh, basically talking about statistical analysis and interpretation of my study. So the major evaluation method of the measurement instrument are validity and reliability test with Cronberg alpha coefficient being the most extensively used test for the reliability analysis. So validity refers to how well an instrument measures what it was designed to measure. So while reliability refers to an instrument's capacity to measure consistently. So in terms of student engagement in MOOCs, the course, uh, the score of KMO measure of sample adequacy value of the 12 component uh, is uh, 0.887 which is higher than 0.65 for student engagement in MOOCs as shown on this uh, table. Uh, the figure is adequate and ideal according to the uh, field 2005. So if the KMO measure of uh, sampling adequacy is greater than 0.65 principal component analysis can be performed. So the KMO score is 0.887 is higher and the interpretation of the score is good. So the result of Bartlett's uh, test is 0.000 indicating the factors have a significant value 
and p uh, is uh, 0 0.05 so hence the representative of the sample is eligible for the principal component analysis and the chi square of 16.102 uh, uh, and the p value of 0 0.000 indicates that there is a good uh, chance of getting the result so uh, the next part is uh, talking about the reliability of my study. So in this table, reliability of the item outcome of the, of, for the associated tool, Kronberg Alpha is used to determine reliability. So the value of Kronberg Alpha uh, is 0.928, which is like higher than 0.75. Therefore, it uh, says that a positive dependability outcome which means on different samples of the same population. So the developed tool will produce the same result. So this slide is talking about the variance. Variance is basically measured in significantly bigger unit than standard deviation. So the variance number is more difficult to grasp intuitively since uh, the units of variance are substantially larger than the units of a typical value in a data collection. So as a result, standard deviation is frequently used as a primary measure of validity and total number of variance in this study. So here we have seen that the uh, variance is like the value of the uh, cumulative frequency is 61.455. So this slide is uh, talking about the variable and the component. So the variable 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10 and 11 are classified under component 1 in the proceeding uh, table of principal component analysis. We, while variable 8 and 12 are grouped under component 2. So the fundamental growth of principal component analysis is to determine the most successful uh, dimension of MOOC uh, student engagement. So uh, this is the model uh, which I have uh, uh, get from my study. So uh, if I'm talking about the discussion, uh, so the first one which I have got uh, from my study, uh, this is like academic engagement. So academic engagement mostly refers to knowledge related interaction, task on time, participation in the various activities related to the particular course, pride in the quality of the learner produced, the student feels proud and accomplishment and investment their uh, individual learning outcome and proactivity, which means some of the students are taking real initiative in this part. And the second one is social uh, emotional uh, engagement. So this is also highlighted uh, the study, uh, which is based on self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship skill, and uh, responsible decision making according to the literature and uh, the second element which is uh, socio-emotional intelligence based on all of these factors and it uh, it is named as social emotional intelligence as encompasses the elements such as uh, engagement which is course content and sharing learning materials with others as well so these are some limitation of my study uh, the fact that student accomplishment uh, rate related to course participation were not addressed in this study is considered a limitation and given uh, these concentration uh, we propose that future research focus on recreating uh, the study by including uh, complaints and suggestions of the learners and replicating this study in this time focusing on different indicators for measuring the structures in order to obtain scales reliability which is like more above than 90% of all the components is another subject to future research. So the findings of the study should be considered in MOOC curriculum or the course development, technology development and other enhancement with the purpose of enhancement of the student engagement. So these are the reference of my study and I'm winding up the my presentation with a beautiful quotation which is given by Eric Williams. So to increase student engagement and ownership for lecturing, we should give students opportunities to do meaningful work. So work that makes a difference locally, nationally and globally. Thank you for listening.